hello friends in today's video we are going to learn about how to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector of the line of joining any two points okay so you can see the question right now on the screen there is written that find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the 2.5 comma 7 and 4 comma 5 okay so friends so first you need to be very much clear that this is question this question is related to related about finding the equation equation of any straight line okay so now uh, before i start you have to know one formula to find the equation and the formula is like this y minus y1 is equals to m2 bracket x minus x1 okay so what you have to understand is to find the equation of any line you need to have three things and those three things are one is x1 you have to check in the question x1 is available or not and another is y1 and that is available or not and another is m2 so these things are available or not so in some easy questions in some direct straight question your x1 y1 will be directly given and even m2 that slope is also directly given but right now in this question you might uh, so many students actually make that confusion and make that um, misunderstand that those two coordinates are there and we don't have x and y1 how can that happen yes so that might be the question for you but let me tell you friends you are asked a equation of one line which uh, one one line which which is actually perpendicular to another line so this is actually yes of course these are also the coordinates but let me tell you this co these coordinates are not the uh, coordinates of our line okay so there will be two lines so actually uh, let me draw the figure for this question so actually let me tell you now okay so we are supposed to find the equation of this line okay this is our line okay let me write our and so if we are supposed to find the equation of this line the coordinate and the slope also should be given of this line instead other lines okay so uh, in this question right now the coordinate has been given but the coordinate unfortunately the coordinate are related to the another line which is not our line so this is other line okay so now let me tell you this line is uh, others line others line so but one thing has been told that why then then why others line is given instead our line thing right so this is actually other line though it is a other line but this is our helper line also we can say and how it is helpful you can see there there has been in the question some important terms has been used perpendicular bisector okay so the two word has been given so perpendicular this is perpendicular number one this line is perpendicular and number two this is bisector bisector means this point okay so this is the here is the one common point right now which i can you can see i am making a brick circle here so this is actually the common point between our line and their line so so if our this coordinate is uh, we can find in any way so then our work becomes easier our x1 and y1 will be also available so so what is the bisector of this line no so now to find the bisector point so you can write let's find bisector point okay and that is you can write x1 y1 so now directly you can solve by how to find the bisector point so very easy bisector point means the midpoint okay so the what is the formula of midpoint this one plus this x1 plus this x2 by 2 so okay i don't want to write x1 uh, y1 because if i again write x and y1 you might get confused with this x1 and y1 so you can directly write 5 plus this 4 5 plus 4 by 2 in this side comma and 7 plus 5 by 2 in this side so directly if you do then your work will be done so x1 y1 is equals to uh, 9 by 2 comma 12 by 2 okay and 9 by 2 is not divisible so we can simply write 9 by 2 only while 12 by 2 means 6 okay so in this way our x1 y1 is now ready for our equation so you can write here um, this x1 is 9 by 2 and this y1 is 2 now the thing is m2 okay now m2 means the slope of our uh, our line uh, but this slope is again not available now again this helper line will help her so same point will help us help uh, us for to find the m1 as well so what i'm going to do is first we have to find the uh, m1 then okay because the relation between this helper line and our line is perpendicular so what we have to do is we have to find the slope of this line and with the relation of perpendicularity we'll find the m2 also and how to find that let me show you let me explain it from helper line first okay from helper line 
okay now temporarily you can write the first point of helper line as x1 y1 okay uh, that is 5 comma 7 so 5 comma 7 is x1 y1 since i have already written here helper line so john get confused this x1 and y1 with our x1 y1 this is helper lines x1 y1 and similarly 4 comma 5 is x2 y2 okay now uh, here again new thing you have you will get the opportunity to understand whenever the coordinates are given how to find the slope does anyone know here okay if you don't know then you can simply note down this formula so whenever coordinates are given you can use this formula to find the slope okay y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 many of you might already know but if those who don't know i think this works uh, so 5 minus 7 divided by x2 minus x1 so 4 minus 5 is equals to so this one is minus 2 and this one is uh, minus 1 so minus 2 divided by minus 1 is 2 so in this way your the slope of that helper line is 2 okay now how to find the slope of our line so first you need to understand what is the relation between our line and that helper line it was perpendicular right that figure was like this yes so that means to find m1 and our slope now to find you can write now to find m2 the slope of required line that our line required line means you can write m1 into m2 is equals to minus 1 so again this is another new formula you need to know whenever the relation is perpendicular you have to use this thing to get that uh, m1 means it's like just like a translation so m1 into m2 so m2 becomes minus 1 by 2 right in this way after getting m2 now your everything are ready to find the equation now you can write now to find the equation you can write that formula y minus y1 is equals to m2 bracket x minus x1 and your y minus y1 was 2 we have already found earlier and m2 is minus 1 by 2 and x minus x1 is 9 by 2 right and after this you simply solve it and get your equation so to solve this i think i better multiply this 2 we are 2 over here and so 2y minus 2 and here is minus 1 but this side is still yet to multiply and do simplification so it is 2x minus 9 by 2 so again i will send this to at this side so that becomes 2 into 2 bracket y minus 2 is equals to minus 2 minus 1 to x minus 9 okay so that denominator 2 has already come here again and this is for 4 bracket y minus 2 and minus 1 bracket 2x minus 9 or 4y minus 8 is equals to minus 2x minus minus plus 9 and then you can see here 2x can come here 2x plus 4y and then minus 8 i'll keep here only i'll send this 9 at this side minus 9 equals to 0 and then therefore 2x plus 4y minus 17 equals to 0 is the required equation all right so all of you you can see here this was the required equation of that perpendicular line that our line okay so in this way how did we use you need to understand in this question is how did we use that helper line to get the equation of our line when they were perpendicular bisectors so this was all about today's class i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have understood many things from this video and hopefully you will support you will keep on supporting in my upcoming videos also and i'll be making much more videos related to maths and uh, its concept i hope you have enjoyed so finally thanks for watching